Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brad, and my hands is a Bulls of Beacon Hill number four. Written by Steve Orlando, Andy McDonald is the artist, Lorenzo Scaramella is the colorist, Carlos M. Manguel is the letterer. All right, so the story is about this kid, Christopher, who is gay, whose father's a mobster. Uh, years later, Christopher's kind of like hidden the fact that his, his dad's a mobster. He's about to go run for office. His dad doesn't want him to run for office because he's afraid it's going to get out that his son is gay and kind of like hurt his tough guy image, I guess. So his dad goes and puts out a hit on him, and Christopher's just gone all ham and just beating the crap out of everyone, uh, laying waste on his uh, clearly a path to go take on his father eventually. So this issue, as Christopher, uh, he went to his mother, previous issue, mother uh, has kind of turned on him and trying to hand him over to his father. So where do things go? Uh, this is kind of like the, the 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 issue before the I think the major confrontation between him and his dad. It's it's interesting. It's really good. Um, some good some good action sequences. Some good emotion. Uh, good just overall pacing. Uh, I've said it. I think every single issue. Like I'm loving, loving, loving it. Like if you are into like mob stories, mobster type stuff. This is where it's at. Like it's it's solid, solid stuff. I mean the the um, story, like the the son, like drivers, just a bit of it. I mean, it really comes down to the the action, the violence, the the kind of the emotion. The I don't want like I don't want to say machismo because it's not quite the right way of putting it. But like you know, it it, it feel like in those in those films like Goodfellas and, and Casino and all that. Like it's partially like you know the style of offing people and the and beating you know beating someone up and in action films especially nowadays it's that flow of how you get that punch in or what do you use or how do you know dive across a table and what object do you use next to you to go beat up the guy like that sort of stuff like it, this this issue nails that down and i think the series as a whole really kind of gets that um you know the son being gay is just kind of the driver of the story um it's really just this is just a straight up action series. Um, you know, you, you could just send like the son is just running for office and the father doesn't want it to happen and find the son's a good do good dude or, or do gooder or something like that. Like that could have been the story unto itself. Um, but he, here it's, you know, yeah, it's, it's just a good solid action. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Like this issue has got some really good moments that felt like they'd be awesome on the big screen. Um, and I, I think this series would be fantastic to uh, to get, like, a movie. Um, yeah. I want to see where it goes. There's, this is good. Like, it's really, really good. As a fan of, like, I just like these sort of genres. Like, that revenge story, that revenge action mob mix-up. Like, it's just good. Good, good, good stuff. Um, art, as I said before, is, is cool. Like, there's some great sequences here. We'll see. Yeah, maybe I'll spoil it a bit. Nah, I don't think we'll spoil anything going going like four or five pages in. A little flashback between him and his mom. Of course, like you get the you get the emotion of mothers betrayed him and kind of like why why is she doing this? And we've there's actually a really good reason. Yeah, no, we'll leave it there because the action where the action kicks off. Uh, there's actually some really good motivations, reasons, and I, I think the overall the this issue is solid in the emotions and the drive and the the logic behind so much so um awesome awesome issue awesome series really good stuff you can go get this out in comic shops now uh we got a link beneath this video put in your zip code hotel the comic shops near you no shop no problem get, uh we've got some links underneath this video where you can purchase your own there'll be affiliate links so to get a small percentage if i do that you'll support our site Speaking of sport, I want to thank Aftershock for getting us up the review copy. Thank you all for watching. If you are into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, all Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics. Yeah, keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.